Las Vegas, billed as the entertainment capital of the world. Famous for its lights, shows and gambling. With many of the world's largest hotels on this four-mile strip, nothing here is understated. Sin City has been the playground for the rich and famous for well over half a century. Many big stars have performed here, from Sinatra to Celine Dion, and Prince to Penn and Teller. This is not a place traditionally associated with high-end cuisine, but one culinary heavyweight is changing that. Good evening. Welcome to Jean Robichon. Nestled among the slot machines in the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino is a restaurant that has held the maximum five diamonds from AAA since 2006 and has been awarded three Michelin stars. This is Joël Robouchon. In this particular restaurant, what I think we do the best is no compromise. There's certainly an opulent luxury to it. My mission here is make the guests happy when they leave the restaurant. French chef Joël Robouchon has 18 restaurants in nine countries, between them bearing 27 Michelin stars. Chef Robouchon has been named by Gomillot the chef of the century, which is absolutely amazing. He has obviously the most Michelin stars in the world and I think in the history of Michelin. Mr. Robouchon for me is a king of the cuisine. You know, he's always looking for something new, for something better. He's never finished with it. With so many restaurants bearing his name, Joël Robouchon has to choose carefully who leads his teams. At the helm here in Las Vegas is executive chef Claude Le Toic. Ça marche, trois couverts. One, two, one, 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 four courses. The philosophy of the restaurant is like conviviality. You know, we want to make uh, people feeling good in the restaurant with good ambience. On va chez five kilos à ça, hein? That's very important. Good ambience. That's, uh, make your experience even better. But one thing is we, we stay French. You no, know, it's a French style. This restaurant opened in Vegas in 2006, offering high rollers a luxurious refuge from the brashness of the strip. When you're coming into this restaurant, we try and take you away from the casino. We try and take you away from the gambling, the music. It's really a different atmosphere here. The main goal for us is when you step into this restaurant, that you transport into not only a different place, but a different time. I do think decor, if it's beautiful, makes a dining experience that much more wonderful, that much more exciting. The main focal point of the room will be our chandelier, which is Swarovski handmade crystal. And it was actually designed for this room specifically once we had the dimensions of the room. Uh, so really a unique piece. In the center of the room, a nice divider with a banquette on either side, which really separates the interior of the main dining room, offset by a small fireplace, uh, which really adds warmth, which is obviously always needed in a desert. So we have this, it's, it's really a nice touch. You'll notice the color scheme currently is uh, black and uh, between yellow and a very light green. Just past me, you'll find our indoor terrace, a live plant wall. All of the plants therein are actually alive, so it really is wonderful atmosphere for people to step into. Again, uh, completely a step away from a desert and a casino. Um, none of these plants would survive long at all in, in the climate outdoors. The way this place was decorated, it was really created to feel like a 1920s Parisian style mansion. And for us, if time can stop when you walk through the doors, then I think that we've done a, a good job. From the moment you're seated, you're ours. This restaurant has a, a traditional essence to it. It does embody 
the, the belief and the, the culture of traditional French cuisine. But at the same time, we have Chef Robichon, who really enjoys taking what's been traditional and really infusing it with a, a modern approach, um, a very new cuisine, which, which he continues to develop. The man dubbed the godfather of modern cuisine has created a 17-course tasting menu, some courses delivered together, tapas style. It's very modern cuisine, uh, mixed with traditional. We want to be focused on the flavor. After that, we go on a presentation making looking good. We provide something very uh, unique, exceptional. Perfection itself is unattainable, but we can continue to strive for that. And I think that that's really the attitude that Chef Robichon embodies and the attitude that he's given to all of his chefs as well as all of us. Just pull a little bit to get more space, to pull the vegetable, get more volume. Top class food requires top class ingredients. Each delivery is minutely inspected. It's all about the detail. Our first job is to make sure that each ingredient we reach the kitchen are perfect. If they're not, we send it back. At this level of the cuisine, it's the detail who make the difference between something good and something very good, exceptional. You have to look about all the data. If you understand that, you get a good chance to be a good chef. This fanatical attention to detail results in one of the most expensive menus in North America. The main menu of the restaurant is our menu degustation, which is really the highlight. I mean, this is the menu that attracts people from across the world to come to this restaurant and dine. And that menu itself is currently at $445 per person. We also have a few smaller options, a few prefix menus, uh, which range from two to six courses. And those allow guests to customize the menu based on their own appetite, first and foremost, but then also based on their palate, what they'd like to enjoy. We want people to be able to come and enjoy this type of experience, regardless of whether they're millionaires or not. Amazingly, the man with 27 Michelin stars to his name has turned the humble potato into one of his signature dishes. Mash. With lots of butter. A dish Joël developed in his first restaurant in Paris in the 1980s. This pomme puree has since become a must-have in all his restaurants. I always hear this comment, you know, uh, oh, we will love mashed potatoes. Uh, uh, I don't want dessert, I just want mashed potatoes at dessert. The restaurant's luxurious mash can be washed down by the offerings of an even more lavish wine list. Wine pairings that we offer with our menus, especially for our degustation tasting menu, we offer three different tier options. We have it in price tiers of $295, $595, and then what we call Grand Cru tier at $995 per person. You have to think of this in terms of buying memories. I have friends who will happily spend 500 pounds to go and see their team lose at the rugby in Paris, for example, and all they'll get is a memory of bitter resentment. If you spend that sort of money in a restaurant, you at least get a good meal as well. And what you are buying is the memory of an experience, a moment of pure indulgence. The rarest wine on our wine list will be the Chateau Cheval Blanc 1947. And the price for this would be just shy of 30,000 US dollars. There is a difference between a $25 wine and a $25,000 wine. It is in the flavors, in the quality, maybe in the story behind it, and the overall rarity. It's like a sports car. You know, you can get to your destination with any car, but do you want to go there in style?
restaurant's well-heeled guests get service that is attentive and meticulous. So you can just slice the outside and then you can literally walk. With regard to the style of service, I think the style is extremely always right side up. That way the guests can see the skin. Detailed. If you finish that cut, then the front cut will be extremely simple. We will be very hands-on and we will have carving stations set up table side to allow and invite our guests into the actual visual stimulation of a restaurant of this caliber. So here we serve fingerling potatoes. Get rid of service is when you wheel a trolley next to a table and it's about bringing the dishes to life um, to, to the guest. But there's one thing, it's not about selling, it's about sharing. It's about sharing what you have and it's about sharing it with art and with kindness. And it's making sure that people trust you when you explain the dish, so that if you say it's good, the guest knows it's good and they can trust you. The food is what people write about. The service is what people remember. And if we can marry excellent food with excellent service, then we have really hit on what we are attempting to do. Here we step to three of our trolleys, which are really the, the guéridon for which we're really known. The first of which is our butter trolley. We have our butter, which is hand churned, comes from Brittany, France, and we'll actually curl this off table side uh, for each of the guests, finish it with a little fleur de sel. And some would say that the following trolley is of even more importance than the butter. Here we have our bread trolley, all made by our own Robuchon baker, who we brought in from France specially for this. Everything from mini croissants to bacon bread. Following that, the next one, this is our Mignardis trolley. Mignardis are a selection of small bites, essentially, and for the most part, it's a sweet dish. Being in Las Vegas, we definitely have to really make a spectacle of everything that we do have to present. Entertainment is ultimately what Las Vegas is about, and if we can fulfill that premium end, that is our part of the role to play. People who want to come here is because they want something exceptional. They want to remember. They don't want to have a dinner. They want to have a dinner plus. We always make sure when they leave the restaurant, they say, wow. Not, not saying, what's good, thank you. No, it says, wow, it's something, you know, special. That's what we want. Once you've already finished your meal and you think you're stuffed, uh, we'll give you just a little bit more. Famous for its lights, shows, and gambling. With many of the world's largest hotels on this four-mile strip, nothing here is understated. Sin City has been the playground for the rich and